All right. Another exam FM video. It's kind of an interesting question. This is more or less where I'm at in my studies. Um, of course, read the question at the beginning. Uh, but this is kind of the setup. This is the time diagram I have. Uh, we're given a perpetuity. Uh, we have increasing payments until time n plus one. And then we have a level, uh, basically perpetuity after that. So we kind of have, what we have here, the way to think about this is that we have a, um, a annuity with payments that are arithmetic an arithmetic progression regarding the payments because the payments are increasing by one um, through n periods in years. And actually it is n periods because all of the n plus one, but we start at two. So there are n periods here. So n payments increasing by one. So that's called an arithmetic uh, progression regarding the payments. And that's just, just think about what you learn in algebra. I mean, arithmetic series, right? It just means you add a specific number to the previous to get the next one in the, in the series or sequence, right? After which we have just a regular level, excuse me, perpetuity, right? So at n plus uh, n plus two, I'm gonna think of it as starting at n plus two, and on. I'm gonna think of it as a, a perpetuity immediate, uh, starting at n plus one, but I'm gonna think of it going from n plus two on. So hopefully uh, this makes sense. What I'm going to explain, okay? Uh, we're given that the the initial what do they say deposit or uh, the cost, the cost is 77.1. Basically, this is the present value though, right? And the annual interest rate uh, is 10.5. So that's the interest rate per year. And I have years here. Hopefully you can see that. All right. How am I going to compute this? All right. Well, um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, that one thing that's helpful to realize here is that from 2 all the way uh, to n plus 1, I'm going to treat that as one piece. And this is really just an increasing annuity. <clears throat> the payments go up by one, and I do it for n years. There are n periods, right? This is for n years. <clears throat> Some of the, the most difficult aspects of studying for this have been counting, <laughs> counting things. How do you count this, this period here? You take the, the, the final mark, n plus one, and you take n plus one, and subtract one before two. n plus one minus one is n, that's why there's n years here. That's one way to think about it. All right, so let's just deal with that pre piece first. So what I wanna do is I wanna evaluate, I wanna evaluate everything right here. I wanna evaluate everything right here at time one, and then I'll take the discount of one period to go back to time zero. So what I mean here is, um, let's just first evaluate this regular um, uh, increasing annuity, okay? So, um, what I'm going to have here is the present, here's the present value, 77, okay, we have a 77.1. Let's deal with the increasing annuity first. Let me give myself a little room right here. This is going to be an increasing annuity. This is the symbol here, increasing annuity. Um, angle N, an increasing annuity uh, for N years at interest rate I. So this is an annuity immediate. Annuity immediate because I'm evaluating here, but the payments start at the end of year, uh, end of year two, right? The end of the year, which means it's immediate, which means I don't have dots. So that takes care of just this part. And so that evaluates it at one, but I really want to bring it to time zero. How do I get to time zero? I need to take V of that. I need to discount that by year, one year, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to the basically the level perpetuity immediate and what i'm thinking here um again or not again but what i'm thinking in the situation here is i'm thinking of this part right here i'm sort of thinking that my perpetuity starts right there and goes on to the to the right there so this is just a regular old uh, perpetuity with annual payments n so this is n and you should know, and this is a perpetuity immediate. Because it's a perpetuity immediate, we take uh, the payment, the yearly payments or periodic payments, and we multiply by one over I, over uh, the interest rate. If it was uh, in the, uh, <coughs> perpetuity due, this would be D for the discount rate. 
Now, where does this actually evaluate the perpetuity immediate? It evaluates the perpetuity immediate at, at right here, actually. It brings it, it brings it to this point, to n plus 1. Where do I want it to be? I want it to be at time 0. How do I bring this back all the way to time 0? <clears throat> I need to go through all of these intervals. How many intervals are there? There are n plus 1. So I need to multiply this by v to the n plus 1. So this is going to give me my answer. But um, well, we still have some work to do. And um, I'm actually going to derive an uh, important formula as we go. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out of v. So what I can say here is that 77.1 is equal to v times. Now what is the formula for an increasing annuity immediate? This is actually the present value. Sorry, this is the present value of annuity immediate. This is the present value, actually annuity due, kind of confusing there, uh, with interest rate i, minus n v to the n divided by i. This is just the formula for the uh, annuity immediate. Okay. Now, plus, I'm just going to rewrite this over here. This is, uh, I factored out one of the v's. Okay. So now I have uh, n v to the n over i. You should be looking at this and saying, this already looks nice. Why is that? Because I have the same denominator and I have some cancellation. And this is the formula I was getting at actually. So, um, continuing, 77.1 is equal to V times, now what's going on in here? As I mentioned, I mean, the same denominator, just take these out, these guys are gone. This is exactly the present value of annuity due with n periods, interest rate i, divided by i. This right here, I'm not going to write it out, but this is an important formula. I'm going to put um, a little star right here. This is something you should, I recommend you know uh, for exam FM. What this does is this is a formula you can apply that tells you if you have an increasing annuity, payments increasing by one each year, and at some point it levels off, in other words, there are level payments after year n, then this is how you compute the present value. This is for uh, pe perpetuity, perpetuity immediate. All right, we're pretty much there, pretty much there. Um, you could do this algebraically, but um, I recommend using the VA2+, plus, and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, let's, let's, um, let's do that. So now, so now this tells me that uh, 77, 0.1 times i. I'm just going to do some algebra. Bring the i over, bring the v over. Okay, divided by v is equal to the annuity due uh, n periods i. By the way, I didn't even mention what we're we trying to find. We're trying to find n. <laughs> Damn it. We're trying to find n. That's what we want. This is the equation we've simplified everything to. We have i, and because we have i, we have v, right? And, um, well, I think you're probably familiar with this by now, but um, let me just write it anyway. What is V? V is equal to 1 uh, plus I, we're given I, uh, to the negative 1. Okay, that's what V is. And what did I get for V? I didn't even write it out. This is some number, though. You can do it. I mean, this is equal to uh, 1.105 to the negative 1, whatever that is. Okay? Uh, I is equal to I, so no big deal. From this, we're pretty much where I want to be because if you simplify the left-hand side, what you should get is the following. You should get 8.9455275. Now this equals the present value of my annuity due uh, with n periods, interest rate i, i being 10.5%. Um, now, we have everything we want. We're just going to compute this. Again, you could just write this out and figure it out algebraically, but who the hell wants to do that? You have to like L take ln, natural log. Use this thing. Let me show you how to do it on the calculator. So let me give myself some room. Get rid of this. 
Okay, so what we have is the following. Okay. All right. How am I going to compute this? This is what we're going to do. So, BA2 plus, as I mentioned, I was pretty hesitant in using this, but it is very helpful once you learn how to use it. Uh, my calculator is already in begin mode. Okay, you need to be in begin mode because an annuity due has payments at the beginning of each pay period. That's where you put in begin mode. So the first thing is to put it in begin mode. How do you put in begin mode? First thing you want to do is clear TMV, clear the time value money. To put it in begin mode, you do, um, you're going to do second, second, and then begin, B, G, N. Okay, that will pop up a screen and it will usually just say actually end, end. It will say end first. And to get it in begin, now you press second set. So second set. And then second quit to so get back to the home screen. So then second quit. This will put you in begin mode. Now you're ready to compute this. So now what do I want to do? Um, well, this is the present value. So what we're going to do is now we're going to type the keys in as 8.9455275. Uh, five, five, okay? And then we're going to hit PV because this is the present value of this annuity due. And what are my payments? Think of the coefficient here, it's just a one. So my payments are one. But with payments, you always want to actually make them minus, make them negative. So now we're going to do one and then the plus minus key. Okay. So that takes, uh, and then, then we're going to do payment, right? PMP. Okay. Now we need to um, put in I, the interest rate. Interest rates you put in actually as a percentage. So I'm going to put in 10.5 so just put in 10.5 and then I, Y, I, Y, interest rate per year. And then we're almost there. What do we want to compute? We're looking for N. So now I want to compute. So CPT, N, CPT, N, and this will give me my answer. And what did I get? I got a nine, I think I got like 19.1 or something but approximately 19, so 19 years. And that is my answer. That's my answer for N. It's a lot of boxes, but this is really the answer, right? All right, I hope this was helpful. I know that this looks like a lot of calculator keys, but um, if you practice this enough, you'll see that this is actually quite logical and it will make sense to you. It's not just memorizing this. This will make sense to you after a while, so I promise. Uh, tell me what you think. Hope this was helpful. Uh, like the video and subscribe and comment below.